Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ange and I like to share all things beauty and lifestyle aimed at the more mature woman. And I just love beauty, skincare, you know, nice things that make you feel good about yourself. And I've been a naughty little panda lately and I've got, we had Sephora had a 25% sale and I got some bits and pieces from Mecca and then we've also had a discount at Colt so I've, 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 I've been accumulating a lot of stuff so this is just the makeup now if you want to see what else I've been buying in skincare because I've got just as much in skincare let me know down in the comments below and I will do a skincare one as well. If you are interested in seeing how I created this eye look, I have filmed another three looks one palette with the ABH Norvina Pro Pigment Volume 5 palette and that will be coming soon. But this is an eye look that I created with that palette. Okay. I'm going to get into the first item that I have probably had for a few weeks that I have tried and I've got a little bit of an opinion on it and that is the Shantikai Future Skin Cushion Foundation. Now I got this because everybody who used this on YouTube and loved it and raved about it and said their skin was amazing and they just thought it was the bee's knees I thought I'd get it being a mature chick and they all raved about it for mature skin unfortunately it is not a product I could go and test out we can get Shantikai here in New Zealand but this particular product in their range is only available online so I purchased it. it it's cushion foundations don't have a lot of product in them anyway in fact what does that say 0.4 of an ounce okay so it's not even half an ounce and the only thing saving grace is that you get a second cushion in the box so that when you've run out of this you've got a backup one it did come with a little spongy applicator which disintegrated on me after the second use so it's already gone in the rubbish i was very unimpressed with that for the price of this product then to top it off <laughs> This looks like absolute rubbish on my skin. Um, I don't know what it is about my skin that's different to everybody else's, but I feel a hundred years old when I wear this. Another thing that was pointed out is that it said it had flexible colour so that you could go either side of your skin tone and it would flex out. So I went for vanilla, which is a fairly lightish one, and I think that was a really big mistake. I probably should have gone up to the next colour, but because they said it had a flex to it, and I am more light in the winter than I am in the summer, I thought I'd get vanilla. I don't think the colour is helping the fact that I don't like this but it's quite aging on me, and I'm, I'm going to try it some more. I've tried it with a brush. I've tried it with a sponge. Neither are great, sponge is better. Also what was pointed out is that it's a fairly light coverage which I was happy to accept that because they said you can go back in and spot use it as a concealer. So I used it under my eyes as well but it doesn't for me work as a concealer to cover up my little bits now I didn't expect it to cover it up properly I think it's the fact I just look old with this I may do a video trying that out I'm going to do a get ready with me using new products but I've got enough products that I could possibly do two of those 
so I might do that let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see get ready with me with this to see how lovely <laughs> it looks on my skin because I do think I've got enough products that I could warrant doing to get ready with me if you want a second one seeing this foundation let me know in the comments below and I will do that here we go I'm going to start over here something really inexpensive that I purchased now I only purchased this for one reason and that was to have in mind I wanted to do a get ready with me with new products and I didn't have an eyeshadow palette in here would you believe at the time that I bought this <laughs> now this was is one of the elf bite size yep bite size eyeshadow and this is in cream and sugar I was not going to use this I'm thinking of giving it straight to my daughter new but let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me do a tutorial with this because they are super affordable I believe in the US they are only three dollars this cost me seven still blooming inexpensive and so cheap so if you want to see me do an eye look using one of these I am normally a high-end luxury eyeshadow chick so buying something with this was just to fill a gap in a filming tutorial I don't need that now because I've got some stuff here so if you'd like to see a video using this let me know in the comments below and I'll hold on to it before passing it on to my daughter cream products I'm very wary of cream products I have see like I've got a shine on now hold 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 I've got a matte foundation on and I'm shining up already I have had it on all day though so this is the uh, Shantakai Blur powder now don't like that love this so worth every penny I'm just going to see if I can take a little bit of that shine down that's better there we go okay not quite so dewy cream products scare me a little bit because I have this oily combo skin I am a little worried about how emollient they are on my skin because I don't want to be any more greasy than I already naturally am but I have picked up a couple of cream products in this stash to try one of them was the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush now I have to say when I got this I was quite shocked at how little it was but that's okay because I'd say cream products go off quicker do they 12 months okay so pretty standard very very tiny I got mine in the colour Petal Popping, has a wee mirror on it, I actually really love this colour. Now I went for this colour because I am more likely to wear cream products in the spring, summer rather than winter. I find I get really oily in the winter because I wear my foundation and the air conditioning is on at work and I find the air conditioning really amps up the oil production on me. So got this pretty colour, looking forward to trying that. And that's Petal Popping in the Fenty Cream Brush. I've got two lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury and I get my Charlotte Tilbury from Cult Beauty at the moment or Beautylish. We are getting Charlotte Tilbury here in New Zealand and Australia through Mecca Beauty. Really looking forward to that. Now I got the Wedding Bells lipstick and this is a deep well it's a rosy pink it's a rosy deep pink so I love these I've got the refillable cases they're gorgeous this is in a matte revolution really like that and then I got the kissing formula in the same collection and this one is nude romance and i have to say i really love it i was expecting something a little bit lighter but this is definitely a brown shade so the pinky one is wedding bells 
and this one is Nude Romance. I love the kissing formula in Charlotte Tilbury so really enjoy that and I wanted to try the Wedding Bells. It's a bit deeper than what I normally like but with a lighter lip gloss it looks fabulous. Now the only reason I like a lighter lipstick is I sometimes I just feel on me if I wear a darker deeper lipstick I can look harsher and a bit older and I just I'm, I'm yeah I like my nudes. A mascara I tried because I was looking for a waterproof mascara and I, I'm scared to spend tons of money on high-end mascaras if they are just a mascara so I thought I'd try this one and I'm not a fan it was cheap, reasonable, but I'm not a fan, so I think this one will be going to my daughter. So she's a poor uni student and appreciates anything I can give her. I've purchased three brow products. Now I have the Huda Beauty uh, Bomb Brows. Mine is a medium brown. It has a spoolie one end, and it has the most tiny, 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 tiny pencil tip. I love this, absolutely love it. I like the colour. Now what I tend to do, I'm really scared because it's teeny tiny tiny, that it will run out really really quickly. So I use this just to do my hairs in the front and to set the shape underneath. So that's what I use it for, then I go in with a powder or another pencil, but I don't want to chew through it because I really really like this. And um, so I use it for shaping my brows and then I go in with something else. Another brow product that I bought and I love this is the Dior Show Brow Styler. This is the perfect colour for me and the colour is 001 Brown. Now this is a twisty top as well. I love twisty tops. It has a spoolie at the other end. This is the perfect perfect shade for me but it's $50 and that's $50 New Zealand dollars so for a brow product that's really expensive so I am only using this uh, when I'm going out it's not my work one it's not my weekend one but if I'm going out this is when I use that pencil because I'm not going to be a happy camper and want to repurchase it regularly. The other brow product that I got was the Anastasia Brown Brow Definer. Love the product itself but I just find the tip on this, it's more of that triangular shape, is it's okay you just end up colouring in your brow though, uh, it doesn't give you sh you know sh hair strokes or anything like that color is great soft brown but I think I prefer the actual brow whiz rather than the brow definer but we're trying it out two eye pencils that you may have seen me use in a couple of videos are both from Wayne Goss and they are the essential eye coal pencils I got one in rich hazel and one in deep amethyst the deep amethyst has been getting a hammering with the Norvina palette because it just goes well with every color in the palette and the rich hazel is a great everyday one it's just a nice alternative for a more mature eye to black but it still gives you that depth and that richness so really enjoying those pencils and one I just got this week now I Colt Beauty are actually sending me another one because I ordered two of these but when I got the package it was a little bit damaged and some of the goodies had emptied out of my parcel so I'm getting the other one and this is the Patrick Tarr Precision Gel Liner. I got two shades, this is in deep bronze and once again it's your twisty up version and I really enjoy that because I don't like sharpening and I've got rich brown coming now this is going to look a bit mucky but oh my gosh I am going to go and buy a ton of these this is by Kiss and it is the Lash Glue Liner now I thought this wasn't 
going to be very good. The last time I got a liner, it came out like a mascara, so basically. So you had the a wand with a brush tip on the end, and that was quite thick, and it transferred up on my hood, and so it wasn't great for hooded eyes. This is incredible. Now it is it's mucky because I've used it a few times over eyeshadow. It goes on so lightly, but it's so super tacky. There's no downtime. I can draw my line on my lash line, grab my lash, put it straight on, and it sticks. So different to putting glue on lashes and it not being tacky enough and you know getting everywhere this is flippin brilliant i love it so uh, i hadn't ever seen them before and i'm going to drive especially to the store that i bought that from to buy backups it has made my lash game so amazing that i'm going to go back to wearing lashes to work because I haven't been, I've been trying to make the most of my natural lashes and I don't like them. So this is a game changer for me and I'm going to go back to wearing my lashes each day. Now because it is so efficient in dispensing just the right amount of glue, my lashes are clean when I take them off pretty much. So all I need to do is give them a quick tweak with some isopropyl alcohol and I can reuse my lashes because they're not getting damaged with all the glue. So, so happy. Mecha Cosmetica are a Australasian company, beauty company, and they stock lots of brilliant, amazing brands. And if I haven't mentioned it already, they are getting Charlotte Tilbury in September, which is flippin' amazeballs because we've got a store in my city and I can go and play, touch and feel Charlotte Tilbury. Looking forward to it. My only gripe about Mecca Cosmetica and Mecca Beauty is they never have sales, they never have discount. Sephora have been incredible in the last six months with their sales. Uh, amazing. Mecca don't offer anything and you sign up to this thing called Beauty Loop. This is what you get about once every two, three months. You get a box with goodies for spending lots of money there. Now in this box I've got and I'm very thankful for this one because I want to try this brand out. It's a super expensive brand. This is by Verzo. It's their nourishing cream with niacinamide. And I am really looking forward to trying that. Then we've got a card like this with lip balm colours on it from Westman Atelier. A wee perfume. Do free. And a by Terry Hyaluronic Global Face Cream. That's what you get for spending too much coin at Mecca. So then we get into the goodies that I purchased. And then in this, I was entitled to one freebie. And I got a Milan and Goots, Goots Lip Moisturizer. So I am, I'll pop that in my handbag. Two foundations that I purchased. I am gutted because my favourite. I am absolutely gutted because my favourite foundation, the Peach Perfect by Too Faced, has gone. It's no longer. And I'm super annoyed because I went into Mecca one month ago and they had my shade I should have just blim and got it I have two shades here light beige and natural beige so winter summer colors I should have bought more I'm nearly out of this it's what I'm wearing on my face today and I said I heard that the peach perfect is 
they're not going to do it anymore and I got told by the sales assistant no no we are still stocking it and I haven't heard anything I went back yesterday it's all gone the whole lot is gone and yeah can't get it anymore I've even been on the internet trying to track down light beige but light beige is completely gone from everywhere so I'm gutted about that because it is my most favorite foundation and it just lives in my everyday drawback there so I purchased the Born This Way matte in the light beige now I do already have this but I'm going back to my little drawer I have it in natural beige and it's just too warm too deep for me at the moment so I've gone and got light beige because I will wear this I've been mixing this with Charlotte Tilbury's light wonder because it's quite a light neutral shade and so it's been a good mixing medium for me to get use out of some of my deeper foundation shades so I have that natural beige that so I purchased it in light beige because apparently it is the replacement for my peach perfect I should have just bought some when I had the chance the other foundation I got now I was waiting and waiting and waiting for this to arrive we got told it wasn't going to come to New Zealand it was a product that NARS weren't bringing to Australasia and I was gutted now I don't really want to open this up because I am returning it this is the NARS soft matte complete foundation and I got mine in the shade Light 6 Fiji. I'm going to put a little clip here. It's scary. <laughs> it is natural light. It's not the best picture. I actually don't like filming on my iPhone. I, it's quite grainy. I don't know how to take good video with my iPhone as a selfie. If I video anything from the back camera, it's fantastic. But if I'm filming selfie wise, I, I just find it very grainy and not very nice. So anyway, I'm going to put that clip there. It is, I've heard lots of things of how full coverage it is, totally is. And the reason I know this is that while I was in the store last night, I asked for a sample and said, look, I'm not sure I've got the right color. Can I have a sample? And if it's not, can I bring this back? And they said, yes, as long as it's still in its package and not open, I can take it back. I'm taking it back. It went on. It is thick. And all the reviews that I'd heard was that it was lightweight. Now I've tried it twice today and I had to wash it off twice because it was that bad I'm going to try it one more time tomorrow with a different primer it didn't apply evenly and yet everyone that I've seen which made me tempted to buy it had loved it I used it with a sponge they use it with a sponge so I'm going to try it with a different primer tomorrow but it went on thick it went on like a paste you know how when you have thick paint and you paint a wall and you can see a thick strip and you can see it sort of um, not hasn't taken then a thick strip so it looks like thick paint oh dear she missed a bit there in thick paint that's what it looked like on my face so I felt on my mature skin it's not ideal I need something a little bit softer so at this stage I'm taking that back I've been waiting for it and was so excited for it for such a long time and it was a bit of a letdown from trying it okay going back to cream products I've got this Lila B product and it is a never had Lila B products before this is new for me and they bought this out in a mini now when they said it was going to be a mini it's a mini version of their normal now I hadn't seen their normal size I didn't expect it to be that mini ish tiny 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 and it wasn't you know they, 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 they were 
then was $50. $50 for a little pebble. This is a highlighter and I got mine in the colour Be Captivating and these are actually really super cute, very super cute. The top just slides off like that and I got it in Be Captivating not sure if you can see not really the shade I was looking for I like more of a champagne one but I actually think in the summer that will be really really pretty so it's not a color I think I'm going to wear now because I like my my more champagne cream colors and that's more of a peachy gold but I can see me using it in the summer depending on it doesn't feel too emollient so I think it will be fine so I think I'll keep it in its box because it's so little I think I'll lose it NARS NARS radiant creamy color corrector now I couldn't get the light that was all gone so I ended up getting the medium now I am going to keep the medium because it's something I can use on my discoloration um, spots but I think light is going to be better for me for under my eyes it's very very salmon orange and is I've got the Sicily under eye concealer in a very light peach and it's beautiful under the eyes so I've got the medium and I think I need the light for under my eyes but I'm keeping that because I think it's going to be brilliant on my discoloration spots I had purchased in my last order from them the Morphe 504 brush and I like it so much for blending out I got three so I've got three more eye brushes always need new eyes eye brushes in this little box here from Sephora okay now did I need another highlighter no but I have been watching YouTube recently and everyone keeps raving about the Natasha Denona I need a nude glow Ooh, ooh. oh my lord now that is a me color that is stunning oh I don't want to upset the pattern I suppose it looks champagne -y there yes it does oh, okay that actually does in the light look champagne -y. another foundation this is the complete opposite to the NARS one I thought I would try the Tarte Tarte C Hydroflex Foundation Serum Foundation. I got mine in the colour 20B Light Beige, and I'm hoping it's going to work for me. And I might try that tomorrow actually. So I love the tube. That'd be a great we like if you're going away on holiday. Be a great wee container. So I I probably could do two get ready with me videos or three or four or five. Okay, I've been given a sample of the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I don't like that, it's too greasy on my skin. Two samples here of moisturizer. I do quite like this. It's the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. I used my 100 points to get those. And I think I used 100 point for this one. The Peter Thomas Roth Firm Peeling Gel. Oh, another 100 point, the Tarte Knockout Tingling Toner. Love it, my favourite acid toner. Mm, getting close to the one I really want to open. I really did buy a lot. Okay, we have an eyeliner. This is the Fenty Fly Pencil. And I got mine in Purple Purple Traitor. And I actually got this to try with my Norvina palette. So, ooh, oh, I love the packaging. Beautiful packaging. Oh, twisty. Love twisties. Love, love, love twisties. So, perpetrator. Oh, mmm. Shoot, that's going to go so well with the Norvina palette. 
I will definitely use that in my, I've got one more, uh oh, that doesn't go back down when you do that. Well that was dumb, okay, that doesn't go back down when you wind it up, it stays up, okay, that will go perfect. So I've got one more look to do for a second three looks, one palette video because it just has so many shades in it. Got a lip liner. I thought I would try one of these, the Natasha Denona. I need a nude because I am running low on my lip liners and I got mine in the colour NP2 Ilona. And is this a twisty? No, it's a sharpened one. Okay. Perfect. That is a colour that I have been missing in my, I've been wearing quite a brownie one with all my pinks. So that's perfection, that one. Dior Quince, I have fallen in love with the new formulation. They are very expensive for five shadows, but 25% off is the time to buy those sorts of products. So I've got myself a, another Quince. I had already bought Soft Cashmere and this one is in Poncho. Oh, that is that's stunning okay hold on I'm taking the plastic off and so I don't lose the little brush brushes that is gorgeous so that is what I'm going to use in my get ready with me instead of the elf shadows so yay looking forward to that and I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks now I like matte lipsticks for work because I'm not one in I don't fluff at work I don't touch up my makeup I don't reapply my lipstick so I like long wearing makeup so this one I got in prom night. I didn't realise they matched the colour to the bullet. Huh? It's the colour I would wear. So this is the Pat McGrath Mothership number no. eight, Divine Rose two, and I haven't seen it. So oh, oh my gosh. That's so beautiful. So that's looking coral online, but it's actually quite a bright, bold pink. That would be about the only colour in there. I was weary of this palette because I thought I wasn't going to like the shades. They're going to be too bright. But to be honest, there's only one really bright shade in there I probably wouldn't use, and that's prob that one. That <laughs> that one there that one there um i think if i did a three looks one palette i would use it just to say i'd used it but yeah they they're really nice colors and i just want to say i think i did really well because this arrived yesterday morning and i've waited till filming now to look at it oh it's beautiful okay guys that's all my makeup um yes it's not been something that has just arrived this week but oh my gosh everyone's having sales just need to stop can you not communicate with you each other and, and 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 spread them out so that we can take our time getting stuff because it's finished now but cult beauty just had a 20 percent off everything and I really wanted to get Charlotte Tilbury, but I didn't, and I'm pleased I didn't, because I've got more than enough. But everyone's having sales. It's the same with my skincare. Most of my skincare has been bought because everyone's been having sales. I do have a wish list of things that I want to get, and when there are sales, I tick those things off, which is like the poncho. That's been on my wish list, not something I was going to just go out and get straight away but when there was a 25% off sale good time to buy it because it's on my wish list the Natasha Denona highlighter another one on my wish list the NARS I can return that thank goodness you know things like this they're on my wish list and when there is a sale I is the best time to buy those things so hence this this 
I hope you enjoyed that guys if there's anything in particular you would like to see let me know in the comments below don't forget if you want to see a get ready with me of this foundation I'm going to play with it a little bit more it is in a lighter shade which is good because my daughter is going to end up with a really expensive foundation okay please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'd love to see you back i upload videos on a weekly basis there are going to be some bonus videos over the next few weeks because there's a lot to share with you give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it thank you please don't leave me comments down below about how indulgent i've been i know i've been indulgent it brings me joy it brings me a smile to my face and sometimes on a rough day that's all i need just saying i hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day guys and i look forward to seeing you in my next video see ya bye